guys, welcome to your workout. It's full body day. Yeah. How are you gonna do it, Lise? How are you gonna do it? I tell you, I'm gonna do it real time. That's how we're gonna do it. So I've got the hair in a bun, so you know it's real. Now, real time. Now you know that this April has all been about the legs and the thighs. If you've just stumbled across this video and it's not April, forget this bit, get yourself ready. Everything's below this video. If you're in April, and you're with me, you know that we've been trying to do more legs. So we've done personal bests of our sit squats. We do a lot more deadlifts. We're doing loads more inner and out thighs for April. It's all about legs, ready for that summer vibe. Now, you know that I can't do too much cardio because everything I do in the week, lifting wise, may as well be written off if I do too much cardio. I know it's it's one of those first world problems, but it is a problem I have. So I've done a lot of cardio this week. I've been in my fat burning zone a lot this week. So I am going to be in my fat burning zone a lot in this workout because we are going real time. Now, normally I skip. If I skip in a real time workout, I'm gonna burn between 500 calories, maybe four, 500 calories. That's a lot. It's way too much for me because I already did long cardio yesterday. So I'm doing step ups. <laughs> This may be a horrible idea because my legs are killing me, but that's what I've picked. Now, you can start with step-ups with me and then switch it to cardio. You can just do skipping. You can do whatever you want. When your cardio section is on, it has to be something that pushes you. So if you're on your treadmill, maybe you're gonna sprint for a minute. Remember though, you have to keep getting on and off. So if your treadmill switches off, it's gonna, you're gonna lose loads of seconds trying to get it to start up again. It's super annoying. So pick something that you can jump on and off quick, whether it's jump overs, box jumps, maybe you're gonna do boxing, something like that. But it has to get you gassed. So step up for me, my worst enemy, genuinely, like ah. But they will work me better for my goals than skipping today. So skipping if you wanna do it, get on your bike if you wanna do it, get on your boxing if you wanna do it, however you're doing your cardio, it has to be the worst thing for you, however it has to meet the goals that you're looking for. So I'm doing more legs this month, that will get me out of breath, it will get me in my fat burning zone and I'll be able to build the areas that I'm trying to build and stay in my fat burning zone as opposed to just burning fat, which I don't need to do. I don't need to burn anymore, I need to build more. So I like to work smart, which is either stay in my fat burning zone and push myself lifting a bit more, rather than just constantly doing cardio. I understand that that is not the future. It's not the way to do it. You just need, if you're still in that cardio zone where you feel like you need to do cardio to make sure your workout's been a workout, you're gonna understand if you train with me, the reason you don't need to do that. You can burn calories. You can be in your fat burning zone. You can lose weight by lifting weight. And you're just gonna, you're gonna learn it as you, as you train with me more. Those of you that know, will know what I'm talking about. So, you pick what you're gonna do. You can do weight step ups, you can do step ups without the weight, you can do boxing, you can do whatever you want, but make sure it pushes you. So if you don't know what real time is, those of you that do, set your gear up. You need something that you can swing, something that you can bicep curl, something shoulders. It's gonna be full body, so there's gonna be some cleans in there, some snatches. So make sure that you have everything that you might need prepared. Um, and then obviously get your cardio ready. For those of you that don't know what real time is, it sounds very strange when I say we're gonna be working out real time because to everyone who doesn't understand it, we work out real time every day. The difference between a real time and our normal workouts is real time you get to work behind me. So I will take the first cardio, we, and then, no, you will take the first cardio and I will show you your first move while you're doing your cardio. So you get a whole round to look at what I'm doing and A, decide what weight you're gonna lift, B, decide what, um, what, uh, what you're gonna do. So are you gonna do what I'm doing or are you gonna modify? And then you're gonna obviously have a whole round to decide, okay, I haven't got that piece of equipment, but I'm gonna do it with this piece of equipment instead. 
So it's really good for beginners, it's really good for intermediates because you can look at what I'm doing, you can look at how it's done. Say for example, if you're learning new moves, you can look at how the move should look as opposed to when you follow somebody, you're kind of just trying to follow it and get it done. You don't really, sometimes if you don't know the move, you're trying it for the first time, you don't really know where your body positioning should be. Real time allows you to watch me for a whole round, watch how the move should be done, and then you can either copy it or modify it to something that suits your level. Got it? It's that easy. I know that's been a little bit of a long talk at the beginning, but a lot of you are new. I know we've had a lot of new members lately and I wanna make sure that you understand what real time is because there are a lot more on the platform. So if you enjoyed how we train, there's a whole challenge, um, a real time challenge, a 30 day real time challenge that you can do, or you can go to the filters and you can pick RTC and you can do the real time workouts that are a lot more weighted, a lot more heavy than the actual original real time challenge. Got it? I hope everybody got it. I know there's a lot to take in, but as you get to know the platform, you'll understand it. So this is real time, one of the top asks. Real time, eight times eight, car combat. Three of the, the favorite on the platform. Whenever I put a request out, these are the three that always gets picked. So real time it is today. I'm gonna to do step ups. I'm gonna start with no weight and then I'm gonna add some weight. We are gonna do the first three rounds together, one minute on, with a 12 second rest. I'll give you two extra seconds just to, mm, tw uh, one minute on, 12 second rest, and then you're gonna take the fourth round and I'm gonna take the first move, okay? As before, I'm gonna try and keep it within 45 minutes because a lot of people are on Ramadan at the minute. If you need it longer, you can add one of the um, cardios or add one of the challenge hits or something. There are loads of videos under 20 minutes, so you can add one of those. Um, what am I doing? Functional training. So let's get going. I know it's a bit of a long talk at the beginning, but sometimes I just need to check in and make sure people know what we're doing when it's a new style of training. Mm. Right then everybody, let's get going. So, three rounds together, okay? And then you take the fourth round. So we've got at least three minutes to get our headspace in the right space, in the right frame of mind. You good? I'm gonna move the live a bit closer so you can have a proper look. Let's get going. Whew. Let's go. So I'm gonna start with no weight, just because I've done a lot of legs this week, and I just wanna make sure that I'm nice and warm. So I'm gonna start with one leg, then the other leg. 40 seconds. If you're doing step ups, I don't want you to stop here in that halfway zone. I want you to come all the way up and squeeze your bum. Make it work. 28. Four, 
three, two, last one, let's go. So I'm gonna switch this time. I'm gonna switch at the bottom, drive up, switch at the bottom, drive up. You can switch at the top if you wish, if that makes it easier for you. Again, stand all the way up, squeeze the bum. Stand all the way up, squeeze the bum. 30 seconds, minutes go quick. Working on that abs, yeah man. 20 seconds. Step-ups. I am taking your first move. Oops. Four, three, two, last one. Clean it, press it. So I'm going heavy. Ten kilos aside. That's twenty kilos in total. Good. You can go lighter. If you want to stay in that fat burning zone, notice while you're doing your cardio, I turn my weights so I've got a higher bottom. If my weights are down here, I'll be too rounded. So I just turn my weight slightly. The bum is under on the lift. 18. Good. It gets hard by the end of the week, doesn't it? Go. Two, last one. Whew. So, I'm on to my step ups. And this time I'm using 7.5 a side. Three, two, you're doing clean and press. Let's go. So, they're gonna be slower, but I'm gonna be building more ass, more thighs. 47. Remember, you can always take the weights away.
44. Let's go. 38. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Ten. Got to stay committed. Five, three, two, to the beat. Good job. Woo. So we've got single biceps if you're going heavy like me, double if you're going lighter. I'm just going to make this 15 seconds. 12 is just pushing me just a little bit. That I can't get the next, I can't get the, I still made it. I just need, I need three more seconds to be able to talk and do it properly. To be a good trainer as opposed to, to be a great trainer as opposed to a good trainer. So 15 seconds, either double or single into a shoulder press for double. Again, I'm going heavy. Six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. If you can make it work, you're doing. Hammer curl, down, biceps, one, two, up onto the shoulders, push it, one. I'm using ten, tens aside, hammer curl, down you go, reset, 40 seconds. If you need to do single arms, do it. 10 kilos a side, is what I'm pushing, good, down you go, hammer curl, reset, slow and controlled, 24 seconds, you should be skipping or doing step ups, good, Woo. tens are heavy, up you come, good, good, bum under, down you go, up again, good, down you go, 5 seconds, Three, two, last one. Really good. Two biceps, two shoulders. Let me see it. Six seconds. That's better. That's better. That's much better, Lise. Last one, let's go. Step ups for me. Biceps with shoulders for you. Come on, let's push. Up you go. 46.
12 seconds, get ready. Five, four, three, two, last one. Let's go. Step up to for me. If switching is not for you, just do a single step up on one leg. Some people don't like to switch, I get it. I totally get it. It is quite hard Whew, with the weights wobbling to get your balance sometimes. 30 seconds. It's just like climbing a staircase though. A very high, horrible staircase. 23. 20. Remember we stand all the way up. Uh, and 10. Five, two, last one. Oh, I'm now sweating, you're on your cardio. You understand now how this works? Good. That's why a lot of people like it, they get a whole minute. Three, two, one, let's go. So this time we squat, we drop it down. We squat, we drop it down. Good. Getting a bit of biceps in there as well. A bit of movement. Ooh. Oh, my legs. screaming at me. Uh, mm. That one's for you. Eight, five seconds. Three, two, last one. I'm going to do one leg. Change to the other leg on the next time. Good. So the reason I tap the board is so I can push forward and squeeze. I can't get a massive squeeze when I'm not touching the board. I can squeeze, but it doesn't feel as intense as if I just put my foot slightly on that board and I can really squeeze through. Let's go. 35. Good. Oh, 30 seconds. This is real. Gosh, I'm only 15 minutes in. Go. 15, woo, keep pushing to the beat. Remember, you always have that option of stopping the step ups and skip, skipping to, uh, switching to skipping. Three, two, last one. Oh, I am sweating bad. Let's go. Squat down. Press it up this time. Good. Down. Press up. It's not heavy. I don't need it to be heavy. Down. Good. Down. Good. Down. I want to work right the way through that push. So when I push up, my end I should be able to walk around with the weight above my head. That's where you should be finishing. Not here, at the front of your head, over the back of your head. If you can't get it there, it's too heavy. Push it. Ten seconds. Three, two, last one. Oh. Good gosh, we are working now, I'm sweating hard. 
Step ups for me, other leg. Squat, clean and press for you. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. So if you're doing this with me, you don't just drop down, you control it down. Drive it up, control it down. Drive it up, good. Up, down you go. Up, 40 seconds. Good, really good, 30. You're doing really well. Woo! I'm sweating, it's in my eyes. 24. Woo! Come on. I know it's hard, I know we've done a lot of legs this week, but work it. Push. 15. You've got to be stronger than you want to quit. 10. 3, 2, last one. Really good. Okay, before you go into your cardio, grab yourself a drink. It's your 18 minute mark. Grab a quick drink, I'll start the timer again. Ah. Super real, I know. Step ups is hard, especially weighted. But you know, April is all about them legs. April is all about that ass. Snatches are for me, cardio is for you. You should have had a little bit of a rest by. Especially if you're doing step-ups like me, you would have needed that. Are you ready? Our next 18 minutes, you start on cardio, whatever that is. Get ready in 15 seconds. That's your timer. 10, remember you can change your weight, you can go body weight, you can change your cardio at any time. Snatches are for me. You ready? Stay committed, stay focused. That's your timer, let's go. Good. Use those legs, weight in the heels. Good. Yes. Come on. Good. Good. 30 seconds. Come on, your cardio is not a rest. Get it in, be strong. Good. You always ask for real time. I'm just making it a lot more advanced by adding step ups today. But if you are doing skipping, you should be able to push. Three, two, last one. Well done. Woo, snatches are for you. Making sure we're getting our snatches in this week. Super good for you. Four, three, two. You know how it works, let's go. Up, take it down, slow and controlled. Up, take it down, slow and controlled. Up, good. Up. Good. Tap if you need to. So you can get good form. All about good form. 38. Drive it up. Good. So I'm lifting my body weight and an extra 15 kilos. Woo! That's where we're at today. April for us on the workout. It's all about them legs. All about the ass. Hopefully in 30 days you're going to see that all of this horrendousness that we're doing now, you're gonna feel like your legs have turned, your ass is lifted, you feel stronger. Three, two, last one, good. Cardio is for you. The fact that we're using your biggest muscle groups as well. Means that you're gonna be burning a lot more fat. Pick up your fives. Nice and light. Let's go out. Front raise. Out. Front raise. Out. Front raise. Good. Let's go out. Front raise. Out. 48. Front raise. Woo! Good, 
gosh, out, front raise, good. Woo. You got this, come on. We haven't done any shoulders this week if you're following the pattern this week. We've done shoulders in full body, but we've not isolated any. Shoulders are the key to arms, you know that. You should be doing cardio though and you should be going all out. Breathe, shoulders back, remember on this. Shoulders back, chest is proud, bum is under. You are nice and tall in the body. If you slouch, if you train in a slouch, your body will stay in a slouch. Don't, don't slouch ever. Three, two, one. The posture you keep is the posture you'll have. That's in everything, whether you're walking, cycling, whatever you're doing. The posture you keep is the posture you will have. Remember that. Let's go. I am sweating hard. It's dripping off me. Good. When you get in your fat burning zone, by not doing just standard cardio, by doing it through lifting weights, your sweat comes from a very different place. It's like a deep down, whoo, like heavy sweat. It's not like just dropping off you, like it like pours out of you like lava. <sighs> it's weird, it's a different kind of sweat. 20 seconds. <sighs> 15. Whoo! <sighs> 10. Seven. Three, two, it's hard to explain, but it sort of comes from somewhere else. It doesn't just come from just sweating. It like never stops, just keep going. You're on cardio. Pick up your tens. Let's go. Row. For four. Come up, Arnold press, four, three, two, again I'm using tens, last one, down you go, you should be doing your cardio, four, three, bend all the way forward, two, last one, up you come, Arnold press, good, down you go. Again, look, I can hold them over my head. That's my stopping point. Four and four. Do it. Good. Down you go. 10 seconds. Four. Back is flat. Three, two, one. Good. Tip for you if you feel it in your lower back, you need to bend forward more. Don't be scared. You're not going to fall over. Eight seconds. This time I'm going to do side step ups. Everyone's nemesis. But all you have to do is imagine that you're pushing the floor away, come back down. And don't try to put your feet side by side because that's not natural. Just concentrate on that leg on the board, picking you up and pushing the floor away, keeping the weight in the heels. Push the floor away, keep the weight in the heels. Good. Good, working on that side glute. Good. Any pain, any problems, go back to your original step up. But this will help you strengthen your knee joints, strengthen your hips. Just take it nice and slow, 15 seconds. Up, oh, you should be doing cardio. Uh, no, you should be doing four and four, 10 seconds. Three, two, last one. Good. Whew. I mean, it's getting very real. So, I've got my kettlebell here. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a weight. It's just a little bit easier with a kettlebell. So you're gonna come up, come up into a triangle, all the way down, bring it up, do it again. You look up at your kettlebell, you make the triangle the lowest you can, running alongside, 
Pick it up again. Resetting every time. Look up, don't look at me. Concentrate on what you're doing. You should be doing your cardio right now, but when you get onto this, I don't want you looking at the screen, I want you looking up at that kettlebell. Go. Working on those obliques, that posterior chain. are all the way around here, all the way around here. So when you're doing that bend, you're working that abdominal section, making it strong. That's for you. I'm on my side step ups. I am sweating like a mofo. Let's go, like bad. Up you go. Take it down. Up you go, it's actually dripping off me. Take it down. Up. Take it down, slow and controlled. Up. Take it down. Slow and control. Come on, 45 seconds. Up. One leg is going to be way happier about this move than the other. Don't worry about it. Take it down. Good. 35. Up. Good. Take it down. Good. Up. 30 seconds. Good. You're doing really well. 25. Up. 23. Up. 18. I am sweating bad. 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, last one. Brilliant. So, oh, anyone sweating as much as me? Anyone? It's a different kind of sweat when you're doing it through kettlebells. I'm telling you, and weights. Up you go. Oh, I've got my watch. Make sure you turn your watch around if you're doing your cardio. Nothing worse. Now, one side again. Gonna enjoy this way more than the other. Just slow and controlled, and make sure you're pulling those abs in. Make sure you're really pulling them in. Good. I always find this one works me the next next day. Good. 18. You're doing cardio. Let's go. Ten. Shoulders. Two. Last one. Oh my gosh, shoulders, we're 30 minutes in. I am in my fat burning zone. Oh, step ups are for me. That other side pyramid is for you. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Side step ups are for me. Working on that side glute. You're never going to get stronger if you don't concentrate on working to the different muscles. Your quad is not just one muscle. Your hamstring is not just one muscle. Your ass is not just one muscle. It's lots of different ones and every time you step up differently, every time you work differently, you're switching on a different muscle. This one you should feel goes right into the side of your bum cheek. I need to stop talking and get some air on. Eight, 15. Eight. Ah, my bum cheek's starting to kick in. Three, two, even stepping up is becoming a little bit tender. Ah, that's real, that is. Oh, Lord. So, pick up your kettlebell again. 10 kilos is where I'm at. A staggered swing. If this is not for you, you do your standard swing twice. Got it? So, you come in, swing through. So the foot that's out to the side does nothing. Good. Eight. 
again, you'll feel this under the ass cheek. I like this one. Goes right underneath the ass cheek. We are lifting, toning, working on base the whole of April. It's very real for me right now. So I'm hoping it's the same for you. Come on. Three, two, last one. I mean, I mean, for real. Step up to the bay. Swing to for you. Make sure you're swinging through with those hips. That, up, that leg that's on the axis side does nothing. Squeeze the bum that's doing all the work. Down you go. Down you go. Up. Down you go. Let's go. 45. Woo! Up. 42. Good. Up. 39. Come on. Squeeze it. Push it. We are. You have no idea how much I how, and how hard I work you. I never, I never dumb down a workout, ever. This is the workout I would do if I was on my own, every time. I might give you an alternative with a weight, a, but I never think, oh, I'll make it easier today, or I'll give them an easy day. Oh, oh, I won't do that because, you know, they, they like this better, so it'll keep them on the platform. I never do that, ever. Never, ever do I compromise what I believe is a good workout for what I try to do to please people, ever. I will do a workout that you like, like this one, like real time, but I will make sure that the moves work and they consistently follow each other through the weeks that's why most weeks we're dying because the fitter you get the harder these get I mean look at what you're doing the other day you did a personal best on a on a sit squat which other platform is doing that? Nobody, no beach body, no Joe Wicks, none of those are doing that. None of those, none. Unless you're doing a, uh, take a drink, take a drink. No, uh, after this one, after I've done this cardio, because you need to do your swings. If, unless you're doing a bodybuilding, like, program or something like that. We're just a home workout. Think about all the stuff you do. It's ridiculous how hard you work. So after this, we get a break. I mean, 20 minute step ups. Who's doing that? No one. I'll tell you who is. All the old school footballers that I used to train with, the people who are fit, fit, they are the basketballers that I used to watch in the uh, Ritz Carlton when they used to come. The basketballers downstairs in the gym, they're doing step ups. Which is why, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. 15, uh, 10, uh, 4, grab a drink. Oh, grab a drink. If it is not coming off your chin like this, then you are not working out hard enough. Hmm. Woo. Grab a drink. Woo. We've got 10 more minutes together. Ten more minutes together. 
grab a quick drink. You've got a one round rest. Ooh. Good. 20 seconds. You're starting on cardio. Sometimes just need a minute just to get your breath. Whew. 17. Sorry, six seconds, five, four, and then your 15 seconds is coming, so get ready. Oh. 10 seconds. It's so real now. This workout is mad. Down. Down. Good. Lunge. Lunge. Woo. Narrow squat. Narrow squat. Woo. Sweat is coming. 15. 10 seconds. Narrow squat. Five, three, I'm sweating really bad. Like ridiculously sweating. Come on, don't quit me. Get that done. Narrow squat lunge, body weight if you have to. But get it in, get it done. There's part of you that's starting to think, God, I'm knackered, yeah. You should be. This week's workouts have been tough. You've done your personal best on legs. You've done a million pull-ups on, on a back day. Your chest, massive. Chest day. Yeah, you should be knackered. If you're not knackered, you should be having a word with yourself. That's some real talk right there. Let's go. You're earning your rest days where your body prepares. If you're absolutely shattered, Eat more food, get more food in you, fuel your body right. Twelve. Ten. I'm sweating so bad. Six. Three, two, last one. Super bad. Let's go. Around the world. Bring it in. Around the world. My bobble is a little bit high for this. So the trick with this while you're doing your cardio is not to make your arms stiff. If you make your arms stiff, ooh, it's really difficult. Stay close to the head. Go around the head, all the way around, come back in. Probably not with a bun on your head because I keep catching it. Down. <sighs> Woo! 18 seconds, go. Again, working. Shoulders. <sighs> come on. Oh, six, three, two, last one. So this time, you're doing those around the world. Instead of cardio, I'm doing abs. Okay? Where is it? Seven, 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 seven. One side. So you're going to sit down. You're going to come up. You're going to press. You're going to go back down. The press is optional. The weight is optional.
your shoulders. Good. Up. Keep it above your head. Go. Good. Up. Really good. You're doing awesome. Working those shoulders. I'm cheekily getting some abs in at the same time, but triceps are kicking in from yesterday. 20. 18. Woo! Come on. 13. You should be doing that plank. Get that bum under. You should be starting to kick in now. Three, two, last one. Oh, one more. You've got this one, that sit up that I just did. You've got Russian twists for your obliques and then you are done. And that is a serious workout. My little legs, they feel a little bit broken. Three, two, one, but what a great way to complement the week. So, you have a choice with the Russian twist. Now, because we've done a lot of legs, you might find uh, that your uh, hip flexors Kick in. I can't 
hot chocolate. Bad to kill me. <sighs> 25. You should be doing those sit-ups. Russian twist the legs, come on. You know, every week I come into this platform and I have a moment where I'm like, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna, what you have to understand is, if you go to a gym, you do the same things every day repetitively, repetitively, which is why when you follow these people on Instagram, <clears throat> they don't post what they actually do because what they actually do is really boring. It's really dull. Same thing over and over. So that's why they come up with these cool trendy moves that look cool with throwing weights around. I saw one the other day doing a sit up with a full bar, throwing a full bar to his mane. I was like, what are you doing? Like, what? It's like almost to the point of where people have now got ridiculous with it because what they actually do is very, very dull. Ask anyone. They do the same thing over and over. Maybe switch up two moves between each workout. So to make sure that we hit our targets every week, without it being boring. Sometimes I think, I don't know what else to do, I don't know. But every week without fail, I leave the week thinking, I, I'm so happy with that week again. I'm so happy with that week again. I know, I know hand on heart that that is gonna make you see changes. If you are putting the work in, you are eating right, you are making sure you are eating enough, you are consistently pushing yourself weight wise, you cannot help but feel like you leave this, this mat just, just, grateful to be able to do that and also just really happy with yourself that once again you push yourself outside your comfort zone and you have not given up and week on week you do that consistently and never ever just never just let that go it's a big deal you work really hard and i'm really proud of you all your personal best everything you do never take that for granted you are you work very hard and any person you know who trains or goes to the gym or does anything ask them to jump into one of your workouts and they will tell you how hard you work. I don't need to tell you. Get somebody else to come into your workout and who does actually train and get them to do what we do. It's not easy. And I know that because when I pull in a person to train with me, whenever I get a chance, they are blowing because it's super tough. So well done. Whether you're doing it body weight, whether you're doing it light weights, however you're doing it, the fact that you're doing it every day is admirable. So well done. Thanks for not giving up. <laughs> Even though it was challenging and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.